Joining us right now from Wrigley Field, the man of the moment, Zach Gallen, joining us here on the Burns and Gambo Show. Zach, congratulations on today. Congrats on the big win. Thanks for joining us so soon afterwards, man. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, the fun day for sure. Yeah, complete game shutout. Amazing uh, game by you. First Diamondback pitcher to toss a complete game shutout on the road while allowing three or fewer hits and nine strikeouts or more since Randy Johnson's perfect game in 2004. But tell me, pitch count was low. How much of a factor was that for you that you got into the late innings and did not have a high pitch count? Yeah, uh, definitely a factor. Um, I think I think the sixth, maybe, or the seventh was, um, you know, less than 10 pitches. Um, but I wasn't, you know, I'm usually doing math when I'm out there and just trying to budget, you know, how many pitches I got. But after the seventh, it was like, all right, I'm, I think I went to the eighth with like 80 some pitches. So my thought was like, I'm just going to empty the tank for the eighth, um, you know, hand the ball over to Paul. But yeah, so, I, you know, I was just like, all right, I'm just going to stay in attack mode, um, see if I can finish this thing. What, at what point did you realize that you were going to get to finish it? I mean, after the walk in the ninth inning, did you take a peek into the dugout to look at Tori? Uh, I, well, Yes and no. Um, we had kind of talked before the, the inning that, you know, he was going to give me three hitters. Um, two of things started to get a little squirrely, so I wasn't sure, you know, necessarily what squirrely meant. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I, I looked in just to kind of see. Uh, I kind of just, you know, looked at first base, see if there was any movement. Um, but, yeah, I was uh, – I felt pretty good in the ninth. Um, you know, I was, I was looking to finish it. Once you see he's not coming to get you, do you I mean I'm sure the adrenaline's already going you're already in the moment did it did it even give you another level another gear of oh, okay they're not coming to get me this is me and I'm going for it and this is complete did, did you feel any of that in that moment when you see him not get you uh I mean you know I, not necessarily okay. just because I expected to, to to be out there more so um than anything I don't it wasn't like it would have been more of a shock I think um uh, if he would have you know, made his way out to the mound, I think. Um, I think it was more like, you know, I feel good. My stuff's coming up my hand pretty good here in the ninth inning. So, you know, give me, give me a shot to see if I can, you know, shut this thing down. Yeah. Zach Gallon joining us live from Wrigley Field where the Diamondbacks won today by a score of one to nothing. For you pitching into the ninth inning for the first time in your career, getting this nine-inning complete game the way that you have, is, is, this a, is this a box that you've always wanted to check off? Is this something that, okay, I, I have accomplished this now? Is that, did you have that sense of accomplishment after this? Yeah, I mean, I guess yes and no. Um, you know, I mean, my job is to, you know, go out there and throw up as many zeros as possible, and I know that I haven't gotten into the ninth inning. Um, I also know that, you know, the the, the philosophy on pitchers and, and pitch counts and innings and, and stuff like that has changed a little bit too, so it wasn't something that was necessarily eating at me. Um, it was more so just something I knew I hadn't accomplished yet, and, um, you know, I wanted to, but it wasn't something that I was – you know, for lack of a better word, pressing, pressing to do. Um, I just knew that if I went out and, you know, as cliche as it is, like just try and do my job and, and be efficient, um, you know, that, that someday it would, it would come. The previous two starts for you were just not traditional Zach Allen starts. We expect that every time you take the ball, team has a chance to win, but you had two starts in a row, 10 and two thirds innings pitch, 17 hits, 11 runs, four home runs, ERA of 9.28, not what we expect, not what you expect. What happened in those two starts, and what was the difference in this one today? Yeah, I mean, um, I think just for me, just feeling a little bit more comfortable. Um, you know, felt felt somewhat comfortable early in, in L.A. Um, you know, made some what I thought were some decent pitches. They put some better swings on it. And then, yeah, just kind of, you know, lost a little bit of feel there late in the game. Um you know, just kind of <clears throat> was getting behind the count. And then, I mean, I think, you know, the thing with, you know, Baltimore is it's a good lineup. Um, you know, they don't strike out a lot. They put the ball in play. Um, I didn't feel particularly sharp. So, you know, my, my job in, in those senses is just, all right, just try and keep us in the game as best I can. Um, you know, just, you know, try not to have the bullpen come out here and eat up, you know, a ton of innings. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think I'm always just trying to turn over, you know, every rock that's possible and, and see what's, what's working what's not working why is it not working you know why is this working so i think this week you know we did, did a pretty good job with that you know myself then our pt fed all just all of our pitching coaches just you know just trying to see um you know why do i feel you know uncharacteristic you know not like myself does it mean more that this comes in september in a pl- in a pennant race with you guys 
every single game matters. Do you think this complete game shutout means more to you because of where you guys are in the standings? Yeah, I think I mean, yes, this in the sense that, you know, we're fighting for a playoff spot here. This is a team that we're that we're trailing. Um, I think for me it means more just because you know, like you said, I hadn't, I hadn't pitched really great the last couple of times out. Um, you know, didn't give us a get off on a good foot in L.A. and then, you know, struggled to, you know, close the series out against the the Orioles. So, for me, I think it was more just, you know, stepping up and doing my job, um, something I hadn't done the last couple of times out. If it's a 5 nothing game or a 6 nothing game, knowing that you are going to have four more starts and that everyone matters – do you think it might have been different? Do you think because it was a one nothing game and they kept you in, do you do you think maybe if you guys had a big lead it might have been different? Uh I mean I I, I don't know. That that's that's Tori's call. Um my guess is that it you know, possibly could have been just because I'd kind of thrown a lot just the last couple times out. Um thrown a lot in between starts, you know, knowing that we're gonna get on the stretch. You don't wanna you know, necessarily run run myself, you know, run anybody out there and in a, in a game where it's like, okay, we should have put this away. Um, but I think, yeah, the, the one nothing score, I think Tori kind of just, you know, got my vibe of, you know, I'm feeling good. I'm going to finish this thing. Um, and he, we had just had talks about that. He's like, you know, at some point in time, we're going to come, it's going to come September and I'm going to need you to finish a one nothing game, you know, in the ninth inning. So it was, uh, I think it was just had all been primed already. Zach, we appreciate you joining us so quickly after a game like this. Thanks for the conversation. Uh, we look forward to catching up with you real soon again. Congratulations on the accomplishment today. It was really cool. Great, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks, Zach. Yeah, it's Zach Allen joining us live from Wrigley Field today where he just authored a one nothing shutout of the Chicago Cubs. Nine innings for the first time in his major league career, and it came with some drama. It was a lot of fun. 